Okay, putting a roof rack on a 2020 Ford EcoSport SE four-wheel drive. And I already have the one rack on, and it's not tightened down fully yet, but uh, that's what it looks like. This is a Rhino rack system, Vortex. Now, I'm in the United States, and most of these, the reviews I've seen online do not, aren't in the United States. Well, this is the Rhino roof rack setup, and this is the Vortex bars, and and it's a pretty simple setup, but you can't buy it in the United States. You can buy the bars in the United States, but you cannot buy the fit kit that bolts to the roof rails. These are the factory roof rails, and you cannot buy these feet in the United States. I even called Rhino USA, and they said, nope, can't do it. Some bullshit. So I ordered these from uh, Vehicle Accessories Group in Australia and uh, had them shipped over i didn't have the bar i bought the bars local because they're you know the shipping cost would be high and this is what it uh, this is what it consists of um let me take here i just took this cap off this just slides off and there's a little lock on these and then this the feet just slide on with a simple setup here and there's a allen allen bolt right there and there's a t, t slot and it just slides in there Hang on. It just slides, it just slides in there, and then you just put this cap back on. This I just put those on. There's a little lock on those to lock those in place, the end caps. And then that's how it's held on, as far as this part goes. And then on the car itself, the fit kit. I'll show you. Let's get up top here. Kit. So the fit bracket consists. And there's this part, basically just a mis. Part of the car. That's these parts are, and then there's the bolt stub is part with with what you call a flat wash, lock washer. It comes on spring wash. Yeah, and the lock is the piece. It, they call it basically just this elbow here. And this it bolts onto here. And this little pad, this rubber pad thing, snaps in from underneath. Although it tends not to hold very well. Uh, when I did that, these tabs are trying to pull out. And there's the other side, as you can see right there. And here's it on the here it is on the car. Now, right now, I haven't tightened the Allen bolts that are underneath, so you can still slide this rack. Oh, I can't do it over here, but uh, this still slides. I got them cinched down a little bit, but not, and it fully clears the uh, moon roof, whatever you want to call that, sunroof, moon roof. So, it's a pretty simple setup, yet I've yet to see anything on a roof rack for this. Now, I, the bars that they, if you buy the kit, I did not buy the kit. I bought the pieces and then I bought the bars on my own. If you buy their kit, the Ford Accessories, I mean, uh, not a uh, vehicle accessories group in Australia, uh, if you buy the kit, it comes with 47 inch bars, I think, or something really short. These are 54s. I bought 54 inch bars. As you can see, they stick out from these rails away quite a ways, but overall, overall, they do not stick out from the car very far. They don't stick out at all. In fact, they, in fact, here, let me close this door. Yeah, I'll go up front. Now I haven't. I got a. I got a tape measure, and I gotta get them set right. But I got a hull there to go on the one side, so I'm gonna have these bars stick out farther. But as you can see, the mirror is sticking way farther out than these bars. Like way farther out, not even close. So this barely. These 54-inch bars don't even stick out past the sides of the doors themselves, let alone the mirrors. So I don't know why they want to have such short bars on there. I guess. Maybe aesthetics, they think it looks better. Eh, maybe it does. A little bit shorter bars. I could have went with 50s, but these are 54s. I wanted to make sure I had enough room that it stuck out far enough to clear the side with the hull elevator on the side. I'm not mounting a hull elevator today. I'm going to put a fully slip stream on here. But uh, it's a pretty simple setup. I don't like the fact that the bar, one bar is here and one bar is here, kind of far back on the vehicle. I would prefer if this bar here they had they don't have any notches on the factory rails and threads but if they would have put it here and then put one here it would be much better you know Ford Ford being stupid as usual most of these car manufacturers are stupid when it comes to roof racks and that they think nobody uses those well people that kayak do so we'll finish this up and I'll take a quick short video when it's done with the slipstream and the kayak okay. there's a single that has a uh, lock washer and a flat washer and you just put it in here and then this just sits on top here and there's a threaded hole right there 
like that. So you just sit that on top there, and then the bolt goes right in that hole right there, and that's how it's locked down. And then there's an Allen from underneath here, and there's an Allen underneath here that keeps the bars from sliding side to side. You, you adjust the bar where you want the bars, and then you cinch those down from the ends from underneath. And that's it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Okay, the roof rack is completely installed, and it's you know the shot of the whole thing. I don't like the fact that the bars are farther back than they really should be, uh, the crossbars, because the uh, unfortunately the bolts that uh, you bolt the brackets to, you can see the inside bracket on that over on the other side of the car. They have one here, but then they should have one up front, but they don't. So it's a Ford crappy design. What are you gonna do? But uh, this is the setup, and this is a 16 foot long boat, and uh, it overhangs the, doesn't overhang the front at all, and on the back it hangs off the back uh, three and a half feet off the, when you measure off the bumper. That's that, that's about three and a half feet. Looks longer than that, but we measured it, it's three and a half feet. So, 